Greetings, it is Maxo Diddley here, and today I'm here with another Java tutorial to help you get that A in your coursework. And today we are here with validating an email. So I'd just like to say if you've watched my How to Validate a Postcode tutorial, if you haven't, there'll be an I up there for you to click. This is basically the same thing as we're just going to use a regex code because it's just so much easier. And a regex is basically just a pattern. We can compare a string or a number or something to this pattern and we can actually tell if it's true or false based on that. That I'm not going to go into full details. I'll make a separate video on that if you like. But anyway, let's get right into the video. So we have an input here. Uh, the email the user is inputting is moo, 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 is moo at gmail.com. I can't speak. And now we need to actually do some coding. So underneath our main method, we're going to create a method. It's going to be, I can't actually type, public static boolean val email. If I can actually type. And we're going to take a string and we're going to call that input. Put in our semi bracket thingies here. And in here we're going to do string email rejects equals... Then I'm going to copy and paste a string into here. This string will be in the description, by the way, guys. Put a semicolon at the end. This is the rejects code. We're going to be using to validate whether or not the email is valid or not. Then we want to do a pattern. Pattern. Email pat. Equals. Pattern dot compile. Email rejects. Comma. Pattern dot case underscore insensitive. And you need to right click on pattern to fix the imports and import the pattern library. After that, we want to do matcher, matcher equals email pat dot matcher. Then we want to type in input. Want to right click on matcher to import the matcher class. And then after that, we want to do return matcher.find. And that is our method. Then obviously, here we want to do system.out.println val email email. And that is how we do it, folks. And make sure you spell system correctly. Oops. Right, so I'm going to explain what this code basically does. So basically, uh, this is going to print a true or false just to show that this method works. So we basically, we call our validate email method. We pass in whatever the string email is, which will, have, which will take the value of the user input. We, we, we basically make a new string, and this will basically be set to the rejects pattern that we're going to be using to validate the email address. Then we create, create a pattern object, and by doing that, we're basically able to compile the, the rejects into a pattern, and then we're able to use a matcher object, which has some things going on behind the scene, which is just going to check that the user input matches this pattern. And case insensitive implies that it does not match with the casing. Obviously, we need to create a matcher object. And when we make a matcher object, we're basically going to be matching a pattern to a string. And then matcher.find basically says, right, is this, does this string match the pattern of the rejects? And that's obviously why we use matcher.find. And obviously, this will ever be a true or a false. So matcher.find will take the form of a true or a false. And we want to return a true or a false because it's a Boolean method. Then this, this method here takes the form of true or false. And therefore, system out the print line will print a true or a false. Hopefully, that makes sense. So we're quickly going to run. And obviously, it's returning true. Because obviously, moo is a, at gmail.com is a valid email address. I'm not saying it's verified, but it is valid. Why is it valid? Well, it's firstly, it's got um, just normal characters before and at, then it's got the Gmail, then it's got the dot, then it's got the com. That is a valid email address. Now let's type in something like bob.gmail.com and an at at the end. Obviously, this is completely invalid, but let's just see if the program can pick up on that. Obviously, the program returned false because that clearly is not a valid email address on so many levels, which we won't go into. Anyway, guys, this has been a very quick tutorial. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a comment if you want to say you enjoyed it or if you've got any questions or queries 
or if you've got a topic you want me to cover, I will happily do it. If you want me to expand it to another language, let me know, and maybe I will. Depends on the language, depends on the time I have. But anyway, guys, thanks for being a great audience, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.